diving into uncharted waters as storage levels at two of the state's major catchments fall to less than 12%. The drought 10 years ago saw Tasmania's hydro dam storage levels drop to a record low, 16.5%. As of today, hydro storages are at 15.5%. Over the weekend, the opposition leader, Brian Green, took photos of Great Lake. It's at 11.4% of capacity. There is potential environmental disaster. Hydro is using Great Lake water sparingly because of environmental concerns. And the issues are on the, the, uh, the plants and the animals that live in the lakes. Lake Gordon is in uncharted territory at 8.3 per cent. Industry experts have previously warned the hydropower stations could be damaged if they take in debris. You're talking about operating at levels that we haven't yet operated at, so we're, we're, we're at the moment we're forecasting what might happen, so we'll respond to what really happens and when we hit operational difficulties we'll start moderating the use then. With the Basslink cables still broken, major industrial Temco has agreed to further power savings. Nearstar will reduce its load by 20 megawatts, while Bell Bay Aluminium estimates its cutbacks will cost $20 million in lost revenue. And now another setback with efforts to ease the pressure on dam levels. A big gas power unit being repaired overseas will be three weeks late, returning to service at Tamar Valley. This is a fluid situation. Uh, there will be uh, circumstances that present that we have to deal with. One energy analyst believes Tasmania should be looking overseas at energy efficiencies. New Zealand relies heavily on hydropower and has previously seen domestic power savings of almost 5% after a campaign asking householders to switch off lights and appliances. Those campaigns have been very effective. Uh, they're backed up by some, some really high quality information that's been put out to the community about what they can do and when they should do it. We need to work with every sector in the economy, every part of the community to talk about energy efficiency. Energy will be high on the agenda when Parliament resumes tomorrow. Matthew Groom will give a ministerial statement outlining the government's next steps to combat the energy crisis. That could include lifting the solar feed-in tariff. There are a range of issues associated with uh, a solar decision, for example, that I'm sure would require some sort of subsidy from the Commonwealth. The first emergency diesel generators are set to be fired up this week. Ellen Coulter, ABC News.